In this novel, many themes are displayed. We decided to depict each of the themes that became apparent in Khalid Husseini's The Kite Runner. This quote is very important between the relationship of Baba and Amir. He goes on to explain more about how theft is the ultimate sin. When you kill a man, you steal a life. You steal his wife's right to a husband and rob his children of a father. When you lie, you steal someone's right to the truth. This bit of information adds conflict when Amir finds out that Hassan is his brother. He is furious at Baba for not telling him. Baba committed the only sin there was. He stole Amir's right to the truth and robbed him of a brother. In conversation with Raheem Khan, Baba confesses his worries about Amir standing up for himself. He says how he has seen him be picked on, and all he does is drop his head. Baba believes if Amir can't stand up to a bully as a child, then he won't be able to stand up for anything later on in life. This is important because when Hassan gets raped, Amir just stands by and tries not to watch. He had no courage to stand up to Asaf and his friends to get his good friend out of pain and misery. Amir carries this guilt throughout the novel. When Amir and Hassan are young, one of their favorite things to do is go sit up under the pomegranate tree and have Amir read to Hassan. Amir enjoyed this because when they came across a word Hassan didn't know, he would tease him and lie about what it meant. He said it exposed his ignorance. One day when they were reading, they came across the word imbecile. Hassan asks Amir what it means and he tells him it means smart and intelligent. This part of the story relates to the theme of literacy because it shows the importance of being able to read. When Sohrab is young, one of the first things he teaches him is how to read. This shows how much Hassan believed that literacy was important. Amir and Hassan grew up together. They clearly had a very close relationship. But when others asked if they were friends, Amir immediately would say no and that he is just his servant. When Hassan gets raped, it really is a test of their friendship. At no point does Amir try to step in to help his friend. After this event, Amir carries this guilt around for a very long time. When Amir grows older, he goes to Rahim Khan when he is sick. Rahim Khan says his dying wish is for Amir to save Hassan's son. Amir does as he has asked, saves Sohrab, and ends up adopting him. This action was kind of a form of redemption for not being a good friend to Hassan when they were younger. The kite tournament was a very coming-of-age moment for Amir. It was at this time where Amir finally achieved Baba's approval. Baba won a kite tournament when he was young, so Amir needed to follow in his footsteps. Amir always struggled gaining Baba's approval. He was the kind of kid who would rather read a book than play outside, and Baba hated that about him. This tournament was his chance to prove to Baba he had what it takes to win it. When Amir cut the final kite, he felt like he had done it. This part of the novel is very important. It shows how much Sohrab has truly grown. He went from a silent child who wouldn't be caught dead smiling to a boy smiling and running in the kite tournament. Resilience of the human spirit is all about how people bounce back, and Sohrab is the perfect example of it. He had a horrible childhood. He was all alone, beaten, and troubled when Amir found him. Sohrab grew so much towards the end of the story. Amir took him under his wing and stood up for him against Soraya's father. At the end, he finally shows resilience of the human spirit. This event in the story is a perfect example of man's inhumanity to man. When Asaf rapes Hassan, he shows no pity. He thinks it is all fun and games. It is so hard for Amir to watch that he literally makes himself bleed. It was almost as if Asef was trying to prove a point, trying to prove that he was better than a little Hazara boy. In raping Hassan, he believed it was his way of showing he was in charge. 
that he had all the power in the situation. After this event happens, Aseth just goes on as if, as if nothing ever happened, which is why he represents man's inhumanity. The theme of discrimination is shown throughout the whole book along with class structure. Hassan was a mere servant and he didn't want people to think anything else. Hassan was a Hazara and people of Amir's kind didn't associate themselves with them. Hassan and his wife Farzana get shot in the head in the street because they were Hazaras. Another example of discrimination is when the people get buried in the ground and stoned. The Taliban's goal was to try to get rid of all the Hazaras and if they did so, then the world would be a better place in their eyes. This is one of the themes that is most obvious throughout the story. Amir constantly tests Hassan's loyalty in the book. This time specifically stands out to me. They go up to the pomegranate tree, and Amir asks Hassan to pick up a pomegranate and hit him with it. Hassan refuses to do so. Hassan has been so loyal that Amir just wants him to do something bad. Hassan stands and crushes the pomegranate on his own head. This frustrates Amir very much. He wants Hassan to hit him so that Amir can feel better about being disloyal to Hassan. In conclusion to all the themes in Khalid Husseini's The Kite Runner, it is obvious that all things come down to truth, trust, and loyalty. This book, being a full circle story, shows that even with all the struggles you may encounter, in the end, you can never go wrong with telling the truth and being loyal to those who are loyal to you.